Welcome back to another episode of Two Beers, One Movie. We are discussing the wonderful, the brilliant, the old, used to be great. But it's still great to see him back, Indiana Jones. to another episode of two beers one movie in association with top floor films please remember to check out our other socials on tiktok instagram facebook twitter i will put the links below but first let's talk about james mangold's new indiana jones the doyle of destiny so india's back i'm not sure how to tackle this to be honest Yes, Indiana Jones is back as we know because there wouldn't be another movie. <sighs> should a franchise just die? Or should it prolong it? In a way, maybe like James Bond, for example. Should Indiana Jones go down the route of James Bond? We bring in different actors to play the character over the years. It is a very, very plausible argument. Given this is a movie where Indy doesn't do a lot, uh, the action is kind of played up where he, sometimes he's standing off a bit, they give him a little bit to do here and there, of course it's down to do with his age, um, would have been great if Indiana Jones had a few more movies, probably in the 90s to the early 90s, we probably would have got a little bit more from Harrison Ford, but unfortunately not, we're getting, we got two, literally, from 2008 all the way up to 2023. It was kind of clear to us on the last movie that he couldn't do a lot. Yes, that was, I don't know, 15 odd years ago maybe. It was pretty obvious then that Harrison Ford and Indiana Jones probably should have ended like, should it end it on the toured original movie? That ending that they gave us with Sean Connery and it was a fantastic ending. If they were going to make other movies, should they recast James Bond? Like, I'm not opposed to recasting in a James Bond type manner. Depending on who they get to play. Some will be hit and miss. Some will be like, oh my god, he's great. Of course, there'll never be another real kind of Indiana Jones. It will always be Harrison Ford. He created these iconic characters such as Han Solo, Deckard, and obviously Indiana Jones. The movie starring Phoebe uh, Phoebe Wallace Bridge is it Wallace Bridge or Waller Waller Bridge? Phoebe Waller Bridge. Antonio Banderas pops up, um, and obviously. Mads Mickelson as well and Karen Allen from the originals and from the last one also makes an appearance. They do briefly explain uh, what happens to Shia LaBeouf. I don't know if many people know what happens to him or is it, is it common knowledge or is it just been released or is it a spoiler? I'm not quite sure. So I don't know how, watch it yourself, you'll see. If you have it, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Um, the title, Doyle of Destiny, kind of gives it away of what the, the magic of this one is about. Again, I won't give it away. It's okay. It has some nice action scenes. It brings back all of the kind of the creepies that Indy hates through all of the series. There's a car chase, obviously. There's a whip scene, obviously. It just feels very old, just like, just like Indy, unfortunately. Maybe it needs to kind of dial it back a bit. You see what I did there? Yeah. Either finish it completely, don't make another one at all, or do a whole James Bond thing. The de-aging, it, oh, it's not as bad as the Irishman de-aging, but you'd still notice it still at times look like a computer game. Maybe progresses up to PlayStation 4 this time around rather than... Yeah. But please tell me what you thought 
of Indiana Jones. Should we recast in a James Bond fashion? Should we just let it die? Let Indy retire and settle and hang up his hat and his whip? Please comment below. Like, subscribe, check out our other socials. And I'll catch you on the next episode.